And you are very familiar with somebody that we absolutely love on Ann Buffalo. Yes. His name is Mr. TV. Who? <laughs> Who? Oh. <laughs> television John DeShulo himself. Honor good morning. Uh, good morning. Keith Bradford warned you I can tend to rattle on a little bit so I'll mind my manners but I did bring the <laughs> AM Buffalo cookbook. I was here uh, with AM Buffalo 40 years ago with my first TV gig. I was 21 years old produced oh this gosh, show. It's unbelievable. I brought you the vintage mug from 1983. Oh I, I love, love it. Put it up against the, the yes. current yes. mugs. Oh. And uh, the AM Look Buffalo cookbook. I don't see any Sadie's relish in here yet. No but, but I want to see this cookbook yeah, John while you talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know going back to Lisa Ludwig we, we did so many things together with Lisa and the entire theater community and I, I think Lisa you will agree that this show has helped so many community organizations, particularly the theater community. Oh, absolutely. I mean, being able, we used to come on in, you know, early, early in the morning and sing our songs and promote our shows. And it was a great way to have a wonderful partnership here, but also let people know about all the amazing arts and culturals here in Western New York. Yeah. John, you have to give us some of your favorite memories. Well, you know, I knew you were going to ask that. And, you know, certainly, you know, meeting your idols, like Regis Philbin, you know, he, he and Linda got along very well. He, whenever he'd come to town, where, give me that Pellegrino woman. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, Mike Douglas, the late uh, host who uh, was my sort of like idol, idol uh, and Jay Leno. Uh, gave us a shout out. This was the very first show Jay ever did. We used to have live music in the performance area here in the set. That's David Kane and them jazz beards. There's, a, there's an award we got for starting the Anorexia and Bulimia Association. There's some of the crew from over the years, the late Peter Kerr, David Cucho, who went to Texas, Sue Dobmeyer, former producer. I should really give a shout out to some other folks. There's Regis. Oh, uh, is that Joel? Joel? Yeah, that was Joel. Wow. Uh, Charlie Smith, one of the great engineers, uh, recovering now from a stroke. There's a letter I got from Doc Severinsen thanking us at AM Buffalo for supporting his Amazing. first album that he recorded with Amherst Records. And of course, Doc uh, was Linda's favorite guest. He used to come in and uh, talk about the Buffalo Philharmonic when he was Buffalo Philharmonic Pops conductor. Love so it. So a lot of, lot of great folks. I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention a couple of names. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Certainly Brian Kale and Cindy Abbott. Uh, with the hosts when I got here, Linda Pellegrino, Drew Khan, John Summers, Lorraine O'Donnell, Stephanie Madison, Helen Tetteris. Uh, we saw Charlie Smith there. And the great Nabit crew that uh, was a part of the show, uh, including Charlie Smith and the late Lou Bukite, our director. So many names, I'm, I'm going to forget some of them. But one of the stories about the set, as you see there with Brian and Linda, you know, the stairway to heaven, we used to call the it. The stairway to, <laughs> oh, somebody else said stairway to nowhere. nowhere. Well, <laughs> it depends on your perspective. Half right. Empty, half full. But the studio that you're in is designed, was designed in 1995 when Granite Broadcasting bought the station. It was my thought, as I was promotion manager and executive director of the show, we had to make AM Buffalo look bigger than life. Mm -hmm. sure. So when the new owners walked in, they said, look at this, a kitchen, a set, a this, a that. And they were very impressed. And mm -hmm. another part of the journey to keep the show going yeah. for all of the years that, uh, that we've had it. I love that you yeah. mentioned that because you you impressed so many people. And, and the folks out there in Western New York are probably weighing in and saying, yes, absolutely. And Buffalo was so important to everyone. Just being able to see the best of Western New York. And the fun, you used to have the live audience in New York, yes. which was, was terrific. awesome. We, there's a clip that's online. Uh, we introduced, introduced Robert Goulet, and uh, out came Mike Randall. Yeah. Doing <laughs> his impression of Robert Goulet, oh my gosh. followed by Robert Goulet. And, uh, and you know, so we had a lot of fun. It's, it's so difficult to say, what's your favorite memory? The, the, the things that I think are most important are, for me, seeing some of the folks who were on the crew go on to bigger and better things. Yeah. Yes. Mike Topo, who was painting houses in White Plains when he was my intern, and now he's a vice president at CNN. Michelle Cumbo uh, at CNN. Um, you know, Sarah Nard Phillips, Nan Cooper, who was here over the years. Uh, David Cuccio, as we mentioned. Um, oh my God, Leia Desenzo. I, I knew I was going to for forget some people, so, but I wanted to make as best and yeah, I, you know, yeah, yeah. challenge to, 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 to do that. And you had some of the greats walk through, like Oprah. Oprah was, uh, Oprah was interesting. We rented a plane to fly Oprah in. It was 1986, and there she is with Brian and Cindy and Bob Rich and the owner of the station at the time. That's J. Bruce Llewellyn. Uh, his daughter well, went on to great fame. So when Oprah came in, we, we went to Chicago, and she came back and she said, now who's your general manager? And I said, Steve Kamadi. And she said, oh, he's the guy that let me go in Baltimore. Oh, she handled it so gracefully here mm -hmm. on the air. Uh -huh. uh, Rich Lee, come on in before we wrap up, because I know I'm getting the rap signal. This is a tie, this is my lucky tie from Eric Finara. 
you know, we talk about things that we did. Rich and I from WBBC. <laughs> oh, Rich, come on on this side. Feature. We can't see you. You're kind of cut off. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Finara passed away, but uh, these were ties that Children's Hospital used to put out as fundraisers for the telethon. Oh, I, I love, love that. It. And I speaking of it. a telethon, we were getting the rap music. Yes. Yes. Paula's telling us we've <laughs> gone over time. <laughs> But you know what? The fun Thank keeps you, on rolling Kyle. here on AM Buffalo. We're going to have Kelly Springer telling us about how to stay healthy, especially with summer around the yes. corner. Oh, it is summer. It's not around the corner. Yes, it's right and here. We have another exciting guest. Yes. Stay with us, folks. You're watching AM Buffalo.